now this is the average big data professional salaries in india so uh, this slide we have prepared very extensively after a huge research from a uh, nokri monster everywhere right that what is the uh, you know salary range that employer is generally uh, uh, putting and how much employees generally getting right so it may not be 100% accurate but it will give you some idea so this salary structure is uh, for a foreign uh, for uh, uh, say a foreign employee uh, uh, who has got almost four and half years of experience between four to five or almost four years of experience in the field of not completely into big data but if he is going into the field of big data right so if suppose i am having four years of experience out of which i will be having one or two year of experience in the field of big data and if i want to switch the company and if i am going to any other company so uh, so even people are getting more than that you know i mean i would not talk about the the company name but say a very good company like accenture i know one guy from my previous company he has just four years of experience and is get and he has been offered 12 lakhs of salary right so that is obviously on the higher range but that's why this is kind of average big data salary that people are getting right so if you are in mumbai obviously mumbai is very costly so you can imagine that if you are having around 4 years of experience in mumbai somewhere you will get around 12 lakhs in bangalore you can expect around a uh, 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 10 and half to 11 lakhs in delhi and cr almost similar in pune it is slightly uh, cheaper than bangalore and all which i don't think it is but still uh, you will get at least 10 lakhs in pune likewise in chennai hyderabad kolkata uh, it it is like that they follow right so this is the salary trend general average okay so if you are i mean now the comparison starts that if you are purely say java developer right or you are a python developer so how much you will be getting right so obviously not this much obviously uh, you will get the job it is not like that you may not get the job but the opportunities will not be so huge as the number of opportunities are there in the field of big data and moreover the salary range will also be not so much because big data is still an emerging technology especially in india right so uh, not many people who are so good in big data who are at present uh, they are in the market no still many people are not okay so that's why uh, it's a kind of supply and demand uh, strategy that's why uh, salary is very high and uh, obviously uh, uh, learning hadoop takes a, a huge learning curve so so obviously uh, the the employee who is learning apart from doing the job uh, they must be rewarded right now if you see that this is the current big data job postings in india right so if you see on the left hand side uh, if you see here this is just the big data analyst position more than 2500 okay so big analyst it depends not only into big data but as a whole it's a like of a uh, uh, technical plus uh, say uh, say little bit of uh, managerial or little bit of a uh, techno functional role you can say that right so i i must know the little bit of not little bit more techn technical but more about the management that how a uh, analytics project is handled like that okay so so at that level also if you see the the experience that uh, they are asking for about 9 to 14 years so obviously it's a on higher range right so almost 2550 big data analyst positions are there in the market on that level which generally you will not find in other technologies now if you see some data scientist position wo it's a huge right almost 9000 data scientist positions are there right so data scientist positions means every everything if you search a data scientist along with the a keyword you will get that you will get all sorts of algorithms then all the big data tools will be mentioned there spark scala python or everything will be mentioned there right so data scientist position means data science plus machine learning plus big data all everything you should know so that's why the the number of positions are huge here likewise if you if you see the big data engineer position that means purely big data developer right so you are still getting 2500 jobs almost and at big data architect lead so that means obviously quite huge or quite you know experienced uh, profile that is 
so still in the field of big data uh, still you are having almost uh, 1500 uh, jobs in the market for big data architect position okay which is not uh, there with uh, i mean in any, any other if you type java architect or python architect you may not have so much of openings in the market on the right hand side if you see the senior position that means around 12 to 15 years right that is very senior position so senior position means how much of experience you expect that much okay yeah so if you see that for that level also you are having much more of you know experience i can tell you from my experience in my previous company one person who who was having 18 years of experience he had joined as senior architect in my company so still i mean people are looking i mean obviously people might be uh, uh, ready to switch the company but still companies should have the openings first of all right so that means companies still have the opportunities for that much of experienced people that's why people are joining a cat killed average is dead